All right, here we have another combination problem. And uh, today is not raining here in the Pacific no Northwest, so I'm very excited, as you can probably tell by my voice. So, uh, okay, without further ado, calculate how many five card hands are possible with two face cards and three non face cards. Well, um, how many face cards are there? in a standard deck of 52 cards. There are 12, right? There are four kings, four queens, and four jacks. So add them all up. One of each suit, of course. So then um, we've got 12. So if we want to have two face cards, we're going to go for 12 combination two. But we also need to select three non-face cards. And how many non-face cards are there on in the standard deck? Well, 52 cards in total, 12 face cards, so there are 40. So 40 non-face cards. And from those, we're selecting three of them. So 40 <clears throat> combination three. So I'll plug that into my calculator because my calculator has that function and yours probably also does. But I will also show you how to do it algebraically with the formula. So, okay, so we got uh, 12 combination two works out to be <clears throat> 66. 40 combination three works out to be 9,880. So once we multiply that, we get a whopping sum of 652,080 five-card hands that are possible. They have two face cards and three non-face cards. But let's say that you needed <clears throat> to use factorials right, and use the formula. So what I'm going to do is that I will plug in the... I'll just do this one first. I'll change the color so that everyone can see it better. It'll be 12 factorial over k factorial, k in this case is two, uh, two <laughs> sorry, times n minus k, so 12 minus 2 factorial. Then times 40 combination 3, so that'll be 40 factorial over 3 factorial, because k is 3, times 40 minus 3 factorial. So I'll just um, simplify this a little bit and then of course we we don't have to go that much further because essentially you could put, plug the rest into the calculator and uh, here I can actually rewrite this is a 10 factorial so I'm going to rewrite the 12 factorial just as 12 times 11 times 10 factorial all over 2 factorial, which is just 2 actually, right? Because it's 2 times 1, times 10 factorial, which I'm actually going to cancel out with the top 10 factorial. So we end up with 12 times 11 over 2, so that's what why we get a 66. And let me confirm so that I yeah, didn't make any mistakes here. And then over there, I have 40 factorial over 3 factorial times 37 factorial, 40 minus 3, 37 factorial. And then up top here, I'm going to go, I'm going to expand the factorial into 40 times 39 times 38 times 37 factorial. Down below, I have 3 factorial, which is just 3 times 2, right? So that's just 6 times 37 factorial, which is going to cancel out with the top. Great. So if we do plug this into the calculator, we're going to get 9,880. So this was just to confirm. You, um, depending on your teacher, you might not have to work this out. You can probably just plug it into your calculator and find the answer. That's it.